Hi Taurus and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading from December 15th to the 21st, 2019. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot or will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. My phone readings are $30, emergency readings are $50. Okay, now it's late and people are sleeping, so I can't speak too loud. Okay, so hopefully you guys hear me just fine. Um, I already shuffle your cards off camera as always, but I will shuffle them again. Okay, here we go. Please tell me about Taurus and Love from December 15 to the 21st, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus and Love from December 15 to the 21st. 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from December 15th to the 21st, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from December 15th to the 21st, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from December 15th to the 21st, 2019. Here we go. Please tell me about Taurus and Love from December 15th to the 21st, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus and Love from December 15th to the 21st, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus and Love from December 15th to the 21st, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus and Love from December 15th to the 21st. 2019. <clears throat> Please tell me about Taurus and Love from December 15 to the 21st, 2019. Please tell okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So truth, truth is coming towards you. So we have here, uh, we have the magician and the nine of wands, nine of pentacles. We have the chariot, the five of wands, and the five of wands. We have the lovers and the emperor. So you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. <clears throat> You guys could be dealing with a Gemini, uh, Aries. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you could also be dealing with Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries. So we basically have everybody here. So basically, there's someone here want to manifest someone else that's single. They want to come towards you. Actually, they are coming towards you. But they're conflicted here. Although they do love you, although they do have love for you and they see you and they have feelings for you. But they're not coming towards you because they're being stubborn. It's like they're being stubborn right now because they're conflicted though. This person's conflicted. They want to come towards you, but with the five of wands here, it's like a push and pull going on. They want to communicate with you and then they're like, nah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to communicate. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait till she communicates with me. It's like they're being stubborn here. And this emperor right here, this is a person that runs his whole entire empire. He is stubborn. He could be, he lets his pride, you know, take to get the best of him. Because this person has a lot of pride. And they like being in control. So they, have, they could be a control freak. But even though they're a control freak and they have lots of pride, they still love you. So we got the lovers here. So they still have feelings for you. They still have love for you. And they want to come towards you. They want to manifest you back into their lives. So let's find out about the magician. Uh, please give me more information on the magician. Why is the magician here? Please give me more information on the magician. Why is the magician here? Please get more information on this magician. Why is the magician here? Please get more information on the magician. Why is the magician here? Please get more information. 
Okay, my cards are upside down. We have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Wands. So they're waiting. They could be waiting on you to communicate with them. Please give me more information on the Magician. Please give me more information on the Magician. That's way too many cards. Please give me more information on the Magician. That's actually what they're doing. Please give me more information on the Magician. Please give me more information on the Magician. Please give me more information with the Magician. Please give me more information with the Magician. What do we got here? Choosing a path, two of wands. That's what they're doing with this conflicting energy that they have going on here. They're trying to make a decision. This person is trying to make a decision. If they... They're going to wait because they want you to communicate with them. They're conflicted if they should communicate with you or you sh or should, or should they wait and let you be the one to communicate with them because remember they're conflicted here it's a push and pull yeah i'm gonna communicate with her no nah, i'm not gonna communicate with her i let her be the one to contact me i ain't contacting her they're waiting they're trying to make a decision should i do it or should i not do it that's the that's what they're trying to communicate that's what that's what they're conflicting is because they want to they want to talk to you and they're trying to make a decision here again there was a two of wands they're trying to make a decision which should they contact you and take on this new path or should they sit here and wait on you to contact them let's find out about this nine of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles this is a single person this person is content being single this person is also abundant they're secure they're independent and they're abundant within their own rights this person is also could be a virgo this person is very secure and the nine of pentacles i see the nine of pentacles as a pre-empress because this is the empress before she got married very confident very secure of herself she don't need nobody to come take care of her she don't need nobody to save her because she's financially stable so she's fine she got this and she's content being single okay so this person is single <clears throat> Please get mm. more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Why the Nine of Pentacles here? Please get more. Okay. Person is also happy. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Good job. We have the Page of Cups. Judgment. And the sun. So this person does want a second opportunity. You're gonna come in with an offering and it's gonna make this person happy to know that you to know that you're coming back, making an offering, communicating with them, making an offering. So this person is gonna give you your second chance because it's making them happy for them to hear from you makes them happy. They're happy to hear from you. Because this person, because either you or them, now keep in mind you could uh this could be vice versa. So if you need to flip it, then if you need to flip this, then flip it. But them, you're coming, either you going back or they going, uh, they're coming towards you, you know, having this wake up call, wanting a second chance. That makes them happy. You offering them because you're also going to speak your truth because we also have the Ace of Swords here. So there's truth here. And it makes them happy to hear from you and make this offering. And look, we have the Knight, the Knight of Cups, and right underneath that, we have the Empress. And we got the Emperor right here. Hubby, you guys, there's love here. Let's find out about the Five of Wands. Please give me more information on the Five of Wands. Please give me more information on the Five of Wands. Please give me more information on the Five of Wands. Please give me more information on the Five of Wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands.
So we got the death card. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Or you could also be dealing with a Leo with a sun here. You and we got the King of Cups, so there's an extension and the Seven of Wands. So something that something that has died that you thought something that you thought has died is coming back because this person is coming back and they're making an offering. They're coming back as a king. They're approaching you as a king making an offering. The king, this king, he's emotionally stable. But this, but he could come across kind of cold. He's not your, his emotions are balanced. Now, when it comes to him expressing his feelings, he sucks at it big time, big time. But he's emotionally balanced. He doesn't let his emotions, you know, get the best of him. He knows exactly how to balance out his emotions. And you thought that things came to an end with this person, but it didn't because this person's coming back. And this time, they're willing to fight with the Seven of Wands here. They're willing to fight here. They they probably didn't do it in the past, but now they are. Now they're willing to fight. Now they're willing to fight, you know, to justify, to try and get you back because they had their wake-up call. This person had a wake-up call and... <clears throat> They want you in their life because you make them happy. You guys make each other happy. And this person, whether you communicate, if you're the one that's going to communicate with this person, this person is going to feel happy. It's going to make them happy to hear from you. It's going to make them happy to hear from you. Because, I mean, they're going to be happy that you're actually coming back, making an offering, offering them something. Because you're extending yourself, and this also could be an apology here as just as well. And truth is going to be spoken. And what's going to be spoken is that you guys are going to be actually expressing yourselves to each other. You guys are going to actually communicate and let each other know how you feel. Because this with this emperor, the emperor, he's stubborn, and he has pride. So... This emperor, he could have not been opening up to this person, telling them, expressing how he actually feels about you. He probably wasn't doing that at all, you know, because of his pride. He didn't want to come across as being vulnerable because, you know, he's an emperor. He has, and he runs a whole entire empire and he has a certain image that he has, that he has to maintain. And by him being vulnerable with you, that's like, can't do that shit. Hell no, I got a reputation that I gotta maintain. I can't be doing that. And his pride wouldn't let him do it. But he knows he loves you. He sees you as his as his soulmate, but his pride got in the way. His pride got in the way. But now he or she wants to come back. And now they want to speak their truth. And their truth is gonna be letting you know. How they feel. Uh, uh, offering you an apology. Wanting a second chance with you. Let's find out about this emperor. Because I'm very curious to know about this emperor. Do you need more information on the emperor? Why is this emperor here? Do you need more information on the emperor? Why is the emperor here? Do you need more information on the emperor? Why is the emperor here? Do you need more information on the emperor? Why is the emperor here? To get more information on the emperor, why is this emperor here? To get more information on the emperor, why is this emperor here? To get more information on the emperor, oh. They're hurt. And they're going to apologize. We have the page of pentacles. There's an apology coming towards your way. We got the world. We got the ten of swords. And the three of swords. So this person's hurt. And they're hurt and they want a new beginning. They're hurting. This person's been heartbroken. And they're heartbroken because you guys are not together. Because this person actually does love you. And they do care about you. And they want this new beginning with you. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. And this person wants a new beginning with you. They want this new beginning with you. And... 
there's going to be an apology here. With the Page of Pentacles, this person is going to be apologizing to you. Because things did come to an end. Because this ended between you guys. And this person is now hurting. They hurt. They're heartbroken. And they're going to be apologizing to you. And that could be part of their pride right there where they probably don't want to apologize. Because their pride and their ego gets in the way. So, but if they want this to make, if they want to make this work, they're going to, somebody's going to have to apologize here, make the first move and speak and express themselves. So either way, whatever you thought was, whatever you thought had, has ended, has not ended because this person's coming back. What was dead is now alive again. Let's find out about the natural. You guys need to deal, be dealing with a Gemini as well. Let's find out about the lovers. Please get more information on the lovers. Why the lovers here? Please get more information on the lovers. Please get more information on the lovers. Please get more information on the lovers. Why the lovers here? Please get more information on the lovers. Why the lovers here? Please get more information. The lovers, give you more information on the lovers, why the lovers here? Give you more information on the lovers, why the lovers here? Mm, yeah. I see here. You guys were already in a committed relationship. But we got the Ten of Cups here, and somebody walked away with the Eight of Cups. Somebody had walked away. You guys were already, you guys, you guys could have been already in a relationship. And somebody here walked away. And by and that person walked away, by that person walking away, it hurt the other person ended up getting hurt. It was somebody left heartbroken. Somebody, somebody here was left heartbroken because it came to an end here. Because things came to an end. But this person does want to come back in. They want to come back in. They want this new beginning with you. And this is someone from your past. With the Six of Cups here. This is someone from your past that you be thinking about. That thinks about you. That you guys be reminiscing over. But this person's coming back in with the truth. And they're going to tell you the truth. I want to know what this truth is. Let me see if it gives me any information. Please tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Please get more information. Okay. This person feels like they missed the opportunity with you. The truth is that they want to communicate with you. We have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. They now want to invest in this, and the Ace of Pentacles. They want a new stable begin, beginning with you, and that's their truth. They want stability, and they want to invest in this, in this connection now. They want to, because they feel that they missed out on the opportunity with you with the four cups here. Because we got the queen of swords. And you could have cut this person out. You could have cut them out. This person could have been cut out. This person could have cut you out. You could have cut this person out. And by you cutting this person out of your life. Because the queen of swords cuts anything or anybody that does not serve her. She cuts them out of her life. And she moves on. And that's exactly what you did. You moved on. This person is hurt now. This person was left heartbroken. Of course, you could have been heartbroken just as well. But now this person had time to think about things. And they had their wake-up call. And they're realizing now that you're the one that they want to be with. Because you're the one that makes them happy. And this person is going to want to communicate with you. And when they communicate with you, it's going to make you happy too to hear from them. For some of you guys, not all you guys. Okay, so this is not going to apply to everybody. It's not going to apply to every single body out there. But what you thought has ended is now alive again. So this person is coming back, and they're coming back with an apology. Wanting stability. Wanting a new beginning with you and stability. Okay, so let me get your guidance message here, Taurus. If I could get these cards... Tell me 
baby. Finally. Wow. Please give me a guidance message for Taurus. 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 Okay, Team Spirit. Work together as a team. Cooperation, enthusiasm, loyalty, and kindness will ensure a successful outcome. Beautiful. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again for your weeklies. Uh, you guys have a good weekend. Bye, Taurus.